This morning, uh, we have Mr. Praveen P.A., Director of Aerospace and Defense Government of Telangana, attending MRO India 2021. I would request him to give a little brief on whatsoever he covered this morning in his presentation to the MRO seminar. So essentially, Telangana has become the most vibrant aerospace hub in the country in the last five years. And this has come from a clear, focused approach from a policy aspect, as well as developing dedicated infrastructure and providing the right skilling uh, uh, for the industry, which has brought in a lot of foreign OEMs, uh, as well as uh, the leading Indian players like Tata, Kalyani, Sadani, etc., to set up their manufacturing plant uh, in Hyderabad. We have multiple aerospace parks. We have got uh, an aerospace SC where the Boeing Apaches and Chinooks are kind of getting built, Lockheed's F 16 wings are getting built. Uh, G is setting up an aero, has already set up an aero engine uh, uh, manufacturing facility. Safran has set up an aero engine manufacturing facility in GMR Aerospace Park. A lot of, lot of uh, the ancillary supplies, we've got more than 1,000 of them in Hyderabad today to support the industry. And MRO uh, is again another uh, area which the state government is clearly focused on. We already have two MROs in the state, the GMR Aerotechnic and uh, Air India Engineering Services Limited. We have multiple aero engine uh, uh, players already present in Hyderabad, which include, as I mentioned earlier, GE Safran. And the only engine training center for both CFM as well as for Pat and Whitney are both in Hyderabad. So that has kind of uh, created a, a good cluster of aero engine manufacturers already present there with a, a very strong ecosystem of aerospace manufacturing companies to support them. So that makes it as an ideal location for aero engine MROs as well. Uh, Begumbet Airport has been identified by Airport Authority of India as one of the locations for setting up MROs. So we will come in there. So as such, uh, the state is now prepared for, uh, rather preparing ourselves for an MRO boom and uh, thankfully the union government has kind of done a lot of uh, reforms towards that direction and reducing the GST of uh, uh, applicable to the MRO industry and a lot of other changes which uh, Joint Secretary had mentioned in the morning. And what we do from the state government is to uh, really augment the ecosystem as well as what is required for the industry to come together to tap on the opportunity. And I think we are uh, on the on the way towards that. Thank you.